Hey, hello students, welcome back to the short lecture course on permutation and combination. So as we discussed last day, so what is like uh, permutation? And before that, we discuss what is like what will be the what is the uh, principle of counting. Today we will discuss a very special case of uh, permutation that we call like permutation when all the objects are not distinct. So you have same same elements, same object. Then you have to find the permutation, or then you have to uh, find the like arrangement how uh, distinct number of arrangements so as you can see in my screen so it says permutation when all the objects are not distinct so we'll understand we'll find total number of arrangement when all the objects are not all the objects are not distinct or like different they are the same we have some same elements or same object then you have to find the permutation or arrangements so so let's consider one case suppose let's take one formula over here we have to understand one formula over here so like whenever you are counting the distinguishable permutation or different permutation, suppose you have this case, suppose in a, uh, suppose a set of n objects are there, set of n objects are there, object has n1 or n1 uh, number of uh, like one kind of one kind of object you have n1 like suppose if I take a one example here, so suppose you have like n different object in that n different object you have n1 of one kind n2 of second kind and n3 of third kind and so on and so on so we can write n is equal to total number of object equal to like n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n dot dot nk as we have like n1 of first kind n2 number of second kind element and n3 number of third kind so if you we can say the total number of elements n is equal to n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 plus n dot dot nk now, if you have this type of n object where not like everything is not uh, different, everything is not distinct as you have n1 number of first kind objects. So we have first kind of object uh, like n1 number of n1 number of same first kind of object n2 number of same second kind of object and n3 number of uh, like uh, same uh, third kind of object we have. In this case, whenever now if you have to find the arrangement, the number of distinguishable permutation or distinguishable arrangement here, if you have to find number of distinguishable arrangement here, here the formula is, so first the arrange, first you have to find that we have to consider everything, like all the n objects are different. So how many ways I can like uh, find the arrangement that will be n factorial. Now as we have similar like uh, n1 number of first kind into number of second kind, so we'll divide, it, we'll divide the n factorial by n1 factorial into n2 factorial into n3 factorial into dot dot nk factorial because we have repetition right we have n1 number of repetition of first element the first kind of first like uh, like first kind right one kind n2 number of repetition of the second kind and second element and n3 number of repetition of third kind if you have something like this some repetition when not every object is different then what we can do, we can use we'll use this formula to get distinguishable permutation or distinct permutation. So let's take one example. Let's apply our formula over there. So suppose if I give you one example. So let me clear this thing first. Suppose you have one problem here. How many distinguishable way can the letters in banana be written so again the problem is like how many ways we can arrange this letter and I arrange this like banana so here as you can see we have banana here so let me write it down here we have banana here so as you can see in in this banana so what will be the repetition as you can we have some repetition right in this banana not every letters are distinct we have how many a's do you have do we have total we have total three a's right three a's and two n's and two n's right so we have repetition here first here how many letters are there total six letters are there so i'll consider so in this word in this word this word has six letters in which we have three a's and two n's right and one b so number of distinguishable number of distinguishable way in which the letter can be written or letter can be arranged that will be first we have to take six factorial divided by as you have repetition of three a's you will divide by three factorial into two factorial if you simplify that is six into five into four into three factorial 
divided by uh, 3 factorial into 2 factorial. I can cancel this 3 factorial from the both numerator and denominator. Then I will, then there will be 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 2 into 1. So I can cancel this, like I can cancel this 2 from numerator and the denominator. So I will have 2 over here. So it will be 6 into 5 into 2 that is equal to 60 as you can see. So total number of uh, distinguishable or different permutation when repeat when repetitions are there when like all not all the objects are different so then it will be the number will be 60 as you can see the com like uh, the distinguishable if I, I can show you also the what will be the distinguishable arrangement so uh, here if i clear all these things so now these are the all these are the 60 different distinguishable permutation now here a triple a b a n now as like if I like this will be the all if you can see this picture here will be all the distinguishable permutation distinguishable uh, 60 permutations are there. These are the permutations. So this is the answer. So for uh, so this is the answer for uh, like uh, this is the uh, like all the permutations are there. So that's all. That's all for permutation. That's all for uh, like permutation when all the objects are not uh, like uh, not different. All the objects are not distinct. In this way, we can find the number of arrangement or permutation. So in the next video, we'll understand combination. In the next video, we'll understand combination, and we'll this before going to combination, we'll solve few more problems from the permutation. Thank you guys. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video.